morning and happy Wednesday. I hope you've enjoyed our week so far of learning about different stories and our characters and all the adventures and things that are happening to them. Today we're going to read another story that we've read before and it's one of my very favorites. This story is called Stands Tall Molly Lou Mellon. And in this story, we're going to meet a character, Molly Lou Mellon. And Molly Lou Mellon, you can kind of see her on the front here. She has big eyes, a little tiny nose, and these really big buck teeth at the front. And she's very, very small. And this causes her to get picked on a lot. Let's find out what happens in this story. Stand tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Look at that, on that railing, standing on her hands. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right back at you. So she did. So I keep hearing somebody giving her this advice. Think about what is this advice doing? What kind of advice is being given to Molly Lou Mellon? Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. And so she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. Oh no, her grandma was the one that was giving her that advice, wasn't she? Encouraging her. Wonder what's gonna happen when she moves away. And start in a new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked 10 high on her teeth and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, you sound like a sick duck, honk honk. Molly Mellon sang out a quack, so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Donald, Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. What is Molly Lou Mellon doing? Is she letting all those things that Ronald Durkin says to her get to her? I don't think so. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. 
Ronald Durkin has changed, hasn't he? Wonder what caused him to change. Yeah, I think it was Molly Lou Mellon standing up to him. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. And that's the end of our story. This is one of my very favorite stories because Molly Lou Mellon learns something very important from her grandmother, doesn't she? And it really helps her in this new situation at this new school with new people and especially with this new bully, Ronald Durkin. He just keeps picking and picking and picking at her, but she doesn't let that get to her. So I want you to think about that as you get to our question for today. Our question for today says, how is Molly Lou Mellon listening to what her grandmother told her? So what is she doing that makes her listen and learn what her grandma says? How does that help her? Once you've done that, I want you to go off and read for 20 or 30 minutes on Raz Kids. Then I want you to think about your own story. Does someone in your stories that you're reading on your own, do they learn something? Who teaches them that? I want you to think about that and record that on the back of your paper. I'll see you tomorrow.